apprentice to uh, crack an alkane and we're going to use paraffin to uh, as the actual alkane we're going to crack and we're going to crack it using heat so it's thermal cracking using a catalyst um, to start off with I'm going to put some mineral wool into a test tube and if you just pop that into the test tube push it down to the bottom and then add a few drops of paraffin oil onto the mineral wool so it's soaked up Just adding the paraffin onto the mineral or rock wool so it's nicely soaked in there. And the next bit, which is quite tricky, is to add a catalyst. And what we're using as our catalyst is some uh, broken crucibles which act as the catalyst. So I'm just going to use a spatula to get some, some broken porcelain pot, really, and add it to the test tube. The position that we need to add it is quite important, so if we add it about halfway down in the test tube, making sure that we hold the test tube on its side and then clamp it into the clamp stand. Now I've, um, I've set up the clamp stand at the right height previous, previously to start, the, to start an experiment so that it fits quite nicely into a beehive that we've got in a trough of water which we're going to use to collect uh, the gas. The actual procedure of the experiment is really just to heat up the, the oil and also to move the heat across to the catalyst so that we're actually drawing the, drawing the oil across to break it up into the alkene and the alkane that we need to break it up into. As the reaction starts, the initial um, bubbles that will come out are going to be air. So we're going to collect a whole tube of gas and eventually we'll be able to test that to see if the actual cracking process has worked. So I'm going to turn my Bunsen burn onto a blue flame and start to heat up the, um, the catalyst in the middle of the test tube. Every now and again I need to draw the heat across to the oil and then back to the catalyst and we keep, keep needing to move the heat backwards and forwards until the reaction is finished. One of the problems with the reaction is that if we take take away the heat when the reaction is happening we can end up sucking back water into the test tube which can produce a jet of steam which is one of the areas of safety that people have difficulty working with. We also need to be aware when we're doing the experiment that we're not setting fire to the cork that's lying in the clamp stand particularly if it's a maybe a rubber clamp stand as well. You can see now that we've started to get some bubbles produced in the, in the boiling tube. And as the reaction starts to happen properly, as I said, this is air at the moment, but we'll start to be able to see a cloud of gas gathering towards the top of the test tube, which is actually showing that it's telling me that the reaction started to take place. Produced, 
the liquid should actually go colourless. And that's proven to me that we've produced an alkene in the experiment. You can see quite clearly a difference in the colour of the liquid. It's gone from being a yellowy colour to a clear colour.